Good morning, class. I hope you're all ready for a little challenge. We have a history test next week covering the entire chapter of the Brookhaven Revolution. I expect all of you to study hard and do your best. This test is a significant part of your grade. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That's not good. Did you hear that, Jake? The history test is next week. I know, Elijah. It covers the entire chapter of the Brookhaven Revolution. That's a lot to study. We've been so caught up in everything else, especially my royal family situation. We haven't even started preparing. Yeah, we're going to need a solid study plan if we're going to pass this test. You're right. We can't afford to fail this test. How about we meet at my place later and start studying? We'll make a study schedule. Sounds like a plan, Elijah. Let's try and ace this test. It's a big part of our final grade. We're never going to learn everything in time, Jake. I think it's time to move to plan B. Uh, so we're really going to go through with this plan, huh? We have no choice. My parents will write us those sick notes, and we'll be free from that dreadful test. But what if your parents figure out we're just pretending to be sick, and they don't write those sick notes? We're done for, dude. We just have to pray they do. Come on, let's keep studying and learn everything we can, just in case. You do know if we fail this test, we're not going to be able to play football, right? You know the coach's rules. All students must pass their exams in order to play. Don't worry. I also have a plan C. But that's worst case scenario. We'll be fine. Don't worry. Man, I can't believe our parents knew we were pretending to be sick. This is not good, Jake. I know. What are we going to do now? We're never going to pass that test, Elijah. Look, I know this is risky, but what about plan C? Elijah, I'm not sure about this. Pretending to be sick is one thing, but cheating? We have to do whatever it takes to pass that test, Jake. Trust me, you want to play football, right? I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I think you're right. Come on, let's just get to class and I'll tell you the plan later. It'll work. I have it all figured out. Don't worry. Okay, one last shot of trying to convince my parents I'm sick. And if that doesn't work, then we know what we have to do. I still think this is risky, Elijah. I mean, if we get caught. Look, we have to commit to this. It's the only way. Mom, I don't feel well at all. My head is pounding and my throat is sore. I can't go to school. Oh, I don't think so, Elijah. You tried this earlier and I told you I'm not falling for this. You're going to school tomorrow and taking that test. Well, that seals my faith. Your turn, Jake. Oh, boy. Dad, I feel awful. My stomach is killing me, and I think I might have a fever. I can't go to school. <laughs> oh, no, Jake, I don't think so. You're going to school tomorrow and taking that test. I spoke to Elijah's parents earlier, and they told me he tried this sick act, too. Sorry, Jake. It's not going to work this time. So I'm guessing that's a no for you, too. I guess it's got to be plan C, but how exactly are we going to cheat on this test anyway? Let's not talk here in case someone hears us. I'll tell you everything later. Come on, let's just get to class. So, here's the plan. You ready? I guess so. Let's hear it. Okay, so we sneak into the principal's office and get a look at those test answers. The answer sheets are kept inside the principal's filing cabinet. The principal's office? Elijah, we could get suspended, or worse. I know, but we're running out of time. 
Oh, fine, let's do it. But we have to be careful. If we get caught, we'll be suspended and cut for the football team for the rest of the year. That won't happen, trust me. We can do this, Jake. I know we can. Come on, it's getting dark. Let's head to the school and steal that answer sheet. Oh boy, I don't like this. Remember, Jake, you need to be quick and quiet. The principal's office is on the second floor. Caught it, Elijah. Let's do this. The principal's office is just down the hall. Keep an eye out for anyone. I don't like this, Elijah. It feels wrong. We have no choice, Jake. Now come on. Let's find that answer sheet. This is it, Jake. The history test. Hurry, Elijah. Let's take pictures of the questions with our phones. We did it, Elijah. We actually have the test. Now we just need to study the answers and make sure we know them by tomorrow. I can't believe we actually pulled it off. This was easier than I thought. You see, I told you, Jake. My plan was foolproof. I never should have doubted you, Elijah. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here before someone sees us. All right, class. Here's your history tests. Good luck. Time to ace this test. Thank you, class. You can go now. Elijah, I can't believe we actually pulled it off. I know. I can't believe it either. But let's promise each other to never do something like this again. Elijah, Jake, I need to talk to both of you. You do? <laughs> About what? I've noticed something unusual during the test. You two have the exact same answers and the same mistakes. Uh-oh. Elijah, Jake, your teacher has brought to my attention that there was some unusual activity during the test. Um, what do you mean, Principal Matthews? <laughs> it seems both of you had identical answers on your test including the same mistakes. Care to explain? We assure you, Principal Matthews, it was a mere coincidence. Coincidence or not, cheating is a serious offense. You're lucky we don't have concrete evidence. I'm giving you two a warning this time, but any further incidents will result in severe consequences. I can't believe we got away with it, Jake. Yeah, we really looked out this time. Let's focus on studying the right way from now on. That was too close. Absolutely, Jake. Cheating was a terrible idea. We're lucky we didn't get into more trouble. From now on, we'll put in the effort and study properly. Agreed. We should have known better. I guess we got caught up in the panic of the moment.